the business motherfucker. The Daily Read, your source for news, politics, sports, and all things trending. Here's your host, Marcus Gentry. Welcome to The Daily Read, and I am your host, Marcus Gentry. And I want to thank you all for joining me today on this beautiful Sunday. We have a big lineup for you here today. We have uh, some things that's going on with Donald Trump that I feel like I need to discuss. Uh, we're going to talk about these women, uh, Silk and Diamond. They back in the news, you know, bojangling and doing their thing. And then we're going to talk about some things trending. There were some things that popped off at the VMAs with Missy Elliott that uh, uh, I think some of you guys are, are, are going to like. And for those of you who didn't catch it, it's, it's going to be a surprise when you when you do go look it up. But uh, first of all, I want to get into the to the Masonic Journal. Now the Masonic Journal is taking off. I got uh, a few things down the uh, road here that's, that I'm advertising for. Uh, uh, Associate Worthy Matron, Sister Nia Gordon, sent me uh, this flyer from uh, Syria Chapter 2. And uh, it's for the Masquerade Ball. Now I'm going to tell you people. I've been to this masquerade ball. It is off the chain. So if you're in the Nashville area, uh, West Tennessee, East Tennessee, even Atlanta, man, wherever you from and, and you looking for a grown folks party, something decent to attend, you know, drinks, food, little derbs, this is a good spot. You know, now you have to have a mask to get in. I've seen some people come in with their, uh, you know, uh, uh, makeup done up, uh, I've seen people come in with the costumes on for Halloween and things of that nature, but uh, it's mostly a masquerade ball. So, you know, you can get up suited and booted, put, put you on the mask and come on down. And uh, it's on 660 Lafayette Street in Nashville. The time is at 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. At the door, it's going to be uh, $30 for singles, $40 for couples, and the pre-sale of the tickets will be $5 off. Now, if, uh, if, if you want to get a pre-sale on these tickets, uh, you can go to the Cash app. And the Cash app is uh, capital A-S-S-Y-R-I-A-H-2. That's Assyria. Capital A-S-S-Y-R-I-A-H-2. And uh, you, you can hit these ladies up, get your tickets. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's a nice party, people. This is not... Uh, one of them young young boy and young girl parties. This is a grown folks party and they have a good time in there. It's going down. Again, that's uh, 660 Lafayette Street, Nashville, Tennessee, 37204. Time starts at 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's on uh, September 28th, people. This is their fourth annual masquerade ball. So they, they keeping this going. It's, it's a good event. Also, from my brothers of Nimrod 9, you know, we got a, a, a Gene and Blazer party coming up on November 9th. And we keep it grown and sexy. So we got a, we got some things going on up here. So all my brothers down there in West Tennessee, man, I ain't seen you in a while. You know, you're looking for something to do. Y'all always go to Memphis and hang out. Y'all need to come up here to Nashville and, and show us your support. You know, I got some squares down there that need to get up here and, and rotate with us sometime. So uh, that's the Masonic Journal for the day. And like I say, uh, this masquerade ball, I'm going to be advertising it all the way up to the day it happens. All right. Now, today I want to get into the whole deal with, with Donald Trump and the lies he's been telling for the last week, you know, over there at the G7. And a lot of you uh, in the hoods of America really don't keep up with this stuff, but you should. Because uh, uh, I learned reading newspapers and things like that from my father. And they hide a lot of things in newspapers because they feel like, hell, you ain't finna read it no way. You know, but we need to, we need to watch for this stuff. You see, last week, there was a uh, ballistic missile. A mid-range ballistic missile shot off off the coast of California. Nobody's talking about this, people. And I hate the I hate the uh, Trump bash. I already know what he's about. He's a racist. He's a bigot. You know, and he's a crook. He's a he's a he's a Russian stooge. 
But the problem is that this goes beyond racial issues. This goes beyond uh, 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 social issues that we Americans worry about. The man is a Russian stooge, and I'm finna show it to you in so many words. I'm finna give it to you, and it's up to you to read between the lines. Now, my, now, now my uh, military people who are ex-military in the minority communities, y'all know the significance of this when I tell it to you. When I lay this out to you, you're going to be like, man, I didn't think he was on that, but I'm going to tell it to you. Now, mid-range ballistic missiles were outlawed back in the 80s by Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev. Now, they signed a treaty saying now the country or the countries that signed this treaty would mess with these mid-range ballistic missiles. All of the countries that have uh, uh, nuclear warheads have what you call long-range ballistic missiles. Now, what these long-range ballistic missiles do, they go up into the atmosphere, penetrate space, go around the globe, and drop down back into the atmosphere over your country and explode. Now, the difference is these missiles take 20 to 25 minutes to reach you in your own country. It gives your government time to warn their people to take shelter, and it gives the government time to shoot some of these rockets down, okay? The mid-range missiles, the reason why they were so deadly is because it takes less time to get to you people. It's going up in the air and straight at your country. It's not going up into outer space and penetrating the atmosphere. These missiles are coming straight from the ground or the ship that it's on, and it's going to go straight towards your country. And the reason why Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev back in the 80s signed this, this agreement is because they knew that these weapons was too dangerous. Even if a nuclear war was to happen, you know, at least both sides can spare some of their people from total annihilation. Now, Vladimir Putin has been wanting to use these mid-range ballistic missiles for a long time. But his hands was tied because, like I said, they signed an agreement that neither country would produce these weapons or use them or even test them. It's over with. Last week, while everybody was sleeping early in the morning off the beach, off the, off the uh, uh, Long Beach, California, off the coast of Long Beach, California, on a little island out there, uh, Donald Trump ordered the military to pull these weapons out of mothball and test fire it. Now, the significance of that for my people in the military, I got family in the military. My, my daughter's there. She's over in South Korea right now. My mother was in there and my, my stepfather, he was in the military for years. So I, I know about this stuff. The, the, the military test fired it out into the ocean. There's only one news channel to even pick this up, people. And that's Rachel Maddow. The only person I heard talk about this. And she talked about it for one session and it was over with. And the significance behind this, people, is, like I said, Vladimir Putin's hands was tied. He can't use these weapons to attack countries around him like Crimea. And, 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 and the Czechoslovakia and things like that. He can't use these weapons against them because his hands is tied. So when Donald Trump test fired that rocket last week and it didn't show up in the news, what that did, they, uh, believe me, Russia know it. Russia done recorded it. They know it. Russia can go back and start producing these weapons, these mid-range ballistic missiles again, because the United States broke the treaty first. That's the significance behind this, people. This should scare the hell out of every Democrat, Republican, anybody in Congress. And I think that's the reason why Fox News and a lot of these stations are finally starting to wake up and turn against him. Because the guy is a Russian stooge. You see, these, these, let me hold on for a second. You see, these uh, Confederates that I was talking about on one of my other shows, they bigots just like Donald Trump a bigot. They don't fool with him like that because he's not a Dixie 
down south, son of the Confederate bigot. So they had to use what they got to, to produce what they needed to do in government to keep the wealth for themselves. So it done got out of hand. Everything's starting to crack. If you understand what I'm trying to tell you, it done got out of hand to the point where, you know, he's showing his true colors as a Russian stooge. And I'm hoping some of y'all understand what I'm trying to tell you. You know, this is not, these people is not uh, 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 playing by the normal rules. They thinking that they getting over on minorities with all these policies they pushing and this, this clown in the White House, but the whole time Russia is manipulating them. This is serious, people. This is like some Book of Eli stuff. And if you ain't never seen that movie, you need to go see it. You know, wastelands everywhere. Donald Trump is playing around with, with, with a dangerous man. Vladimir Putin is not on the level with these racist white people in America. He is on something else. When I say domination, he's not worried about no keeping no wealth in his pocket. He's worried about world domination and destroying America on the inside without dropping bombs on it. That's what he's trying to do, you know. And we got to wake up as a people and start uh, understanding what's going on except, except for, uh, you know, entertainment purposes sometimes it's time to put the entertainment down and, and and start looking at what's going on around us because we are letting people in our society dictate our faith without having a representative from our part of society in there let me let me break that down so you can understand what i mean we don't have major black representation I'm not talking about the one or two congressmen. I'm not talking about that. That's over 300 some congressmen. So when you got 300 some congressmen, you got two or three congressmen that are black. That's not a major representation of you. We got to understand that. It should be 30 or 40 uh, minorities, blacks, 30 or 40, maybe Chinese Americans, 30 or 40 whites, 30 or 40 Native Americans, you know, it should fall along them lines when it comes down to our Congress. That way we can have a true representation of who we are as America. That's not what's happening. We sitting around playing games. These people are making powerful chess moves on the world stage chess moves that can get total country annihilated, you know. And then the cover-up was for the for the for the test missile launch, the cover-up was all this foolishness he'd been doing all week. You know, he he he's been on here uh uh lying about his wife, how his wife agreed with him that Kim Jong un is a good dude and his wife looked at him crazy like man I ain't never he ain't never they fact checked him. His wife ain't never even met Kim Jong-un. You know, then he lied about the 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 uh, 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 sitting down, talking to world leaders. That's why he missed the meeting. And the same world leaders that he said he was sitting down talking with, they was at that meeting he missed. The man's a bogus liar. Can't be trusted. And I think he's a he's a he's an implant for Russia. We got to do something about this, people. Your vote counts. Don't be going down there trying to wait till the last minute and sign up. Y'all need to be trying to sign up right now. Because if you wait till the last minute, they're going to tell you, man, look, we, we can't find your name. That's what you call gerrymandering. You know, they're going to tell you we can't find your name. You know, you can't vote. I'm sorry. We can't find your name. So you need to go down there early and put your put your name and stuff in there so they'll know that hey I'm, I'm in here you know i'm gonna vote this time we we all set out on the hillary clinton thing 
but we we don't need to sit out on this one this is this is something more serious like i said than the whole racial issues this is something that's going to have long lasting effects on america as far as other countries you know uh uh messing with us because because more than likely the whole black and white issue would get handled between the races in this country eventually and the reason why is because like i said in my previous show there's too many minorities having kids by white people and vice versa so this is like a, a last ditch effort by the remaining races in this country to show their hand because another two three hundred years from now it's not you you're gonna see light-skinned people maybe hating on black dark-skinned people but the whole white and black issue as far as uh of uh, the bigotry part that's going to be non-existent because it's just too many people mixing and mingling with each other you know there's always going to be a little bit of racism going on in this country but we're going to be dead and gone but two three hundred years from now this is like a last ditch effort by these people because they see where it's going like i see where it's going and they can't stand it it's hurting them mentally you know it's, it's it's hurting these people really mentally but uh i'm gonna take a commercial break and when i get back uh we're gonna talk about a little something light uh maybe what's trending because uh i seen a, a video of a young lady and it, it was it was good it was good i like it but uh we'll be back with the daily read All right, ladies and gentlemen, we back with the Daily Read, and I am your host, Marcus Gentry. And uh, I'm going to do a quick recap on the first uh, uh, segment, just in case uh, we had some listeners that was uh, that didn't tune in just yet. You know, we talked about this missile launch that nobody's talking about in the, in the communities, nobody's talking about on the news. They're keeping this real hush-hush people. But if you dig deep on Google, find a couple of older newspapers, maybe a week old, you'll find it. Off the long, off the off the coast of Long Beach, California, on a little island, they test fired a banned rocket. America did that. You know, this rocket was banned in the eighties by Mikhail Gorbachev and Ronald Reagan. And like I was saying before, this is this is uh, uh the okie doke. You know, Russia couldn't do this. They couldn't do it because they are already under scrutiny about interfering with the elections. You know, but they had Donald Trump do it. So now Russia has a clear slate. They like hell, y'all broke the con y'all broke the contract first. We just you know, we doing we following suit. We got to watch out for this stuff, people. All this shenanigans and foolishness going on in the White House with this this guy, it's 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 a fake out. It's smoking mirrors. It's a fake out. We got to be prepared, we got to watch for this stuff, you know. But I want to get on something light. I want to get on something trending. I haven't did a segment on, on the last four shows. I haven't did a segment on, on things that's trending. And uh, uh, Missy Elliott, she's back. You know, she looking good. She slimmed up a little bit. And she brought a little white girl 
well, she's not, she's a grown white woman now. But on her video, uh, she had, it, what made the video stand out and win an award for it was all of these black dancers out here. And she brought this little white girl in it with pigtails and she was popping. Her name is Allison Stoner. And, and man, I, I, got, I got the article somewhere over here. So I had to look up, I had to look up the, uh, the video. And the video was off the chain. You know, at the VMAs, y'all need to y'all need to check this out. You know, I don't usually do do, do too much on the business, motherfucker. Man, the Daily Read. September twenty eighth, the fourth annual Masquerade Ball, ladies and gentlemen. September twenty eighth, the fourth annual Masquerade Ball will be thrown by Assyria Chapter Two. The lovely ladies of Assyria Chapter 2. It will be held at 660 Lafayette Street, Nashville, Tennessee, 37204. The time will be at 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. At the door is $30 for singles, $40 for couples. And if you get your tickets early, it'll be $5 off. And now I want all of my people to come out for this one, y'all. This is going to be something special. These ladies, they throw a good party every year, and you need to attend this. If you don't have a mask, you can get one at the door. You can purchase one for one dollar. Again, that's September twenty eighth. The fourth annual Masquerade Ball is going down Nashville. Can you imagine putting on a weird sound and having your baby enjoy restful sleep in minutes without waking up once? Now, neuro researchers from the Stanford Sleep Lab have discovered the secret to making it happen effortlessly, safely, and quickly. The sleep-inducing power of the sound lies in triggering a natural response from your little one's subconscious, and all you have to do is switch it on. That's how easy it can be to finally enjoy restful nights and see the surprising health benefits for your child. Now, you'll be able to use it tonight. Just discover it how by clicking on my uh, link in the YouTube page and go down to the product description, and it'll be down there. It's called the Sleep Miracle, people. It's a good product, and I recommend it for all my people. I, as I tell you always, that uh, I'm going to bring something to the community that, that uh, can help you. Now, uh, I'm doing this for the mothers out there, the, the, the new mothers who have kids that uh, have restless sleep. This is a good product for you. So uh, go to my YouTube play page, hit that subscribe button, and uh, go down to the link below and check it out. Thank you. The business, motherfucker. The Daily Read. It's almost like she didn't lose a step, people. I'm telling you. The girl was out there pop-locking and everything, you know. And I, I heard that uh, uh, through, through the uh, news outlets that, you know, she was a child star so fast that she, she, go, she went the way of other child stars and got on drugs real bad and uh but she done cleaned herself up she she looks like a soccer mom the, the woman ain't number 28 years old people and she looks like sarah payton like an old soccer mom you know with, with she done cut her hair off ball she looking good though you know she was out there pop locking she was doing her thing she put it she put a lot of sisters of shame out here dancing the girl was bad you know see so if y'all ain't seen the vma with uh uh missy elliott that's the thing that's trending right now. It's all over the place. It, 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 it's still popping. You know, so check that out. And another thing trending is this new movie, uh, Stephen King's It. Now, I seen the old version, the TV special that came out in the 90s. And it was scary. But with today's new technology, you know, this new Stephen King It is... It, I seen the, the, the first one they did a, a couple of months back about a year back, and it was scary as hell. You know, it, it put the old Stephen King movie, It, to shame. And that's another thing that's trending. So I just hit you with two things that's trending. Later on, I'm gonna try to get into the sports. I'm gonna see if I can make a, a phone call to my guy, uh, Porter, brother Porter. We're gonna do uh, the sports call with Porter, you know. So we're gonna try to reach out to him and uh, see if he have anything to input on uh, uh, the sports. but. I want to talk about two women, two black women that have been in the news again lately, 
and one of these women uh uh their their name is is diamond and silk you know i don't know if they cousins or friends or what i think they live together these people think they're branding themselves but they look like fools people they look like garbage and they look like fools and i'm and i'm tired of seeing these people uh you know katrina pearson uh that black pastor that that that, that ran for donald trump these are people who uh, have no morals. And we need to talk about morals, people, because morals is like a, a foundation of humans that, that keep you from, they keep people from dragging your daughter off in the bushes and having their way with her. You know, morals to see a child of yours lost and be like, hey, uh, young lady or uh, young man, uh, where are you going and do you need some help? That's that's what morals are. These people have no morals. You know, they 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 look at money as the ultimate and end all of everything. And money is not that, you know. These this these two women, these two black women, diamond and silk, they look like a hot mess. And if you haven't seen these women and the garbage they spew out their mouth, y'all need to look them up. Y'all really seriously need to look these people up. They look like trash. And it's getting to, to the point where other black uh, radio hosts and uh, uh, syndicated news people are speaking out about them. They left them alone at first because they didn't want to be insensitive to these people. But... You know, now that Donald Trump's running for re-election, these people done pop back out on the stage. And Donald Trump basically threw away all the other blacks that ran for him during the first election. He threw them, once he got in the White House, he threw them in the garbage. You know, the, the Katrina Pierce's, the girl that was in the White House with him, he, they, dra they dragged her out the White House. You know, they booted her up out of there. And now she's trying to get her black card back. You know, so... There are people that, that, that he had relied on during the first election that he threw away that he pretty much, they probably done with him. But this diamond and silk, they have been paid by the Trump campaign before and they're being paid by the Trump campaign again to get on the news and talk about how many great things he's doing for the black. The man ain't doing nothing for us people. Nothing, you know, and... I just I just want you guys to go and look at some of these people's pages, YouTube pages, Facebook pages. Not not to subscribe to them. Not to subscribe to. I just want you to look at what type of people we dealing with out here. You always going to have those type of people in society that are uh, uh they value money over what's right. People like that can't be trusted. You know, you got to keep your eyes open at all times. That don't mean you weak because you don't say nothing. You sit back and you watch them. But you got to watch them. You know, you got some people out here who are sheep. You got some people out here who are wolves. And you got some people out here who are shepherds. You know, I try to count myself as a shepherd. I, I'm the type of person that if you a sheep, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a shirt off my back and look after you and make sure the wolves don't attack you. You know, I used to be a wolf, preying on other people. I had to change that. You know, you got the wolves out there preying on other people. And then you got the shepherds. You know, the shepherds, man, they sit back and they, and they, and they observe what's going on between the wolves and the sheep. They observe it. Sometimes they step in, sometimes they don't. You know? But there's some wolves out here, people, in our own communities. They'll stab you in your back. They'll wave the Confederate flag in your face. They wolves. They don't care about nothing but money and their own personal gain, like Donald Trump. That's why they roll with him. You know? They don't understand the dynamics of what's going on around them. They think everything is lovely. It's not. You got to watch these people. And I want you to check out these buffoons, man. They buffoons. Diamond and Silk, they suing a, a black publisher because she talked bad about them. You know, sue me. You ain't going to get nothing. 
I say you garbage. I'm going to say you garbage if I go to court. You garbage. You know? You garbage. And that's how these people are, man. You know, you got to watch these, these, these Benedict Arnolds. You know, backstabbers. You know? So, yeah, just keep a lookout on them. But uh, back to the subject about this presidential Donald Trump character. The egg is cracking. You know, the egg is cracking, people. All we gotta do is keep that pressure up. You can see it on the news. I, I didn't, I didn't want to start. I didn't want to keep my show focused on Donald Trump and and Donald Trump bashing, because like I said, I already know what he's about. He's not fooling me. He might fool some more people out here, but he's not fooling me. So I don't want to keep my show. I want to keep my show based around wealth building for the minority communities. But it's hard to ignore the things that's going on. Because if you know this man just launched a ballistic missile that has been banned for over 30 years, you got to let people know about this, especially if it's not being out here in the news. You got to let people know about this. All of this other stuff that's going wrong with, with the lies he's been telling and stuff like that, that stuff is smoke and mirrors, you know. Russia is pulling some major moves out here, people. And when this election starts, you can look for, to your Facebook page and your, and, your, and your Twitter page and your Instagram page. It's going to be all kinds of stuff popping up about whoever the Democrat is that's running against him. All kinds of lies, fake stuff. They had a man, when Hillary Clinton uh, ran for president, they had a man drove all the way from his home i think in kentucky all the way to new york because the russians had lied saying that hillary clinton and her husband was was running a slave trafficking ring out the back room of a pizza parlor in new york this this foolish man ran all the way to new york thinking he finna save these women took guns up there with it that's how deep this Russian lies and things like that is going, people. The pizza man said, man, I've never even met uh, Hillary Clinton and her husband, uh, Bill Clinton. Whoever told these people that was lying. The man literally went up there and confronted the owner of the pizza parlor about him having uh, sex trafficking slaves in the back of his pizza parlor because this is the place where Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton go to get their sex slaves. This is crazy, people. This crazy town. Now we just had another shooting. You know, it's been all in the news. We had a shooting uh, uh, down in Texas. And I used to work in the oil field down there. And I want to make sure all my people work at Schlumberger over in the Medi uh, uh, Odessa and Midland area. You know, I hope you guys are safe. You know? I know a lot of people down there, a lot of Mexicans, whites, and blacks down there. I used to work down there in the oil field. There's some good people down there. They don't deserve this foolishness. You know, the man went on a rampage just just uh, the yesterday, killing people, all because he got stopped by a state trooper. That means he must have been up to something in the, in the first place. You know, I can't wait to see what his manifesto is talking about. There's some foolishness going on out here, people. We got to protect ourselves. We got to be careful. Because uh, if we don't do it, nobody else will. And we got to be aware. Entertainment is cool. Things that are trending is cool. But at the end of the day, you got to keep your eyes open and pay attention. And we got to push our youth into politics, into the military, into the fire department, you know, into jobs and that, 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 is going to benefit us as a, a, a race to push us forward. And on this last segment, I'm going to talk about that. Because uh, I think this is important. You know, a lot of us, you know, we, we be interested in movies like Scarface and, and, and uh, you know, uh, The Godfather 1 and 2. Now, Godfather 3 was garbage. I didn't, I didn't fool with Godfather 3. It was garbage. 
But a lot of people be interested in these movies, but they be interested in the shoot 'em up bang bang part. You know, they don't they don't look at the other parts of it. And I'm gonna dive into that. I'm gonna dive into that, people, because we 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 got to do better. You know. I'm going to jump into this next commercial break, and when I get back, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, those those type of things that, as a community, we need to start pushing for. It's not embarrassing. It's not nothing bad about it. We need to start pushing for this stuff, people, because if we don't do it, nobody else will. The business, motherfucker. The Daily Read. Reading is one of the most important skills one must master to succeed in life. It helps your child succeed in school, helps them build self-confidence, and helps to motivate your child. Being able to read will help your child learn more about the world, understand directions on signs and warnings on labels, allow them to discover reading as an entertainment, and help them gather information. Now, learning to read is very different from learning to speak and it does not happen all at once. There is a steady progression in the development of reading ability over time. The best time for children to start learning to read is at a young age, even before they enter preschool. Once a child is able to speak, they can begin to develop basic reading skills. Very young children have a natural curiosity to learn about everything. They are naturally intrigued by the printed text they see and are eager to learn about the sounds made by those letters. You will likely notice that your young child look, likes to look at books and thoroughly enjoy being read to. They will even pretend to behave like a reader by holding books and pretend to read them. Now this product is called the uh, Children Learning Reading. It's a good product, people. And uh, go to Money Making Biz on YouTube. Look down in the product description below and click on the link and it'll take you to it. Again, that's uh, Money Making Biz. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you. The business, motherfucker. The Daily Read. <laughs> this is The Daily Read, and I am your host, Marcus Gentry. As I, as I promised people, uh, you know, I'm going to do every Sunday... Around 12:30, 12:45, we're gonna we gonna, we gonna do a segment called the the sports call with my brother Porter. You know, are you are you there, Porter? I'm here, brother. What's going on? Man? Well, I'm trying to give my listening audience a chance to uh, understand the ins and outs of of the sports world and, and and what to look for with this coming up NFL season, baseball season, basketball season. If I caught you unprepared, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to. I just want you to know uh, that that we will be giving you that call, man, on Sundays to uh -huh. let you know what's going on. Do you have anything for me? Well, I'm gonna let you know everything's gonna be good here coming up. Chuck. Okay. Who can who can my audience look for in the sports? Can you can you can you drop any names? Can, can you drop any names for me? You still there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Can you drop any names for me in the NFL world? Well, in the NFL world right now, you're looking at uh, the people that's on the phone. You got the, the big man from uh, from. From uh, Tennessee Titans, injured. Okay. He's torn ACL. They tell me I'm bringing him back. You know, he might make the team, but we just got to see what's happening. Okay. You know, so you got a lot of lot of things on, on deck right now. This is cutting down to 53 teams. You know, it's going to be 53 teams after. Oh, see, I didn't know that. That's that's something. See, I don't do sports. Huh? Yeah, I don't I don't do sports too much. See, I really didn't know that. You know. Yeah, so this is a big week right here. Everybody got to have a 53-man roster, so 
some of them people that really showed up that's beginning to to make a pinch. Okay. Okay. Anything in the baseball world you want to discuss? Well, you got some good baseball going on, you know. Uh, of course, uh, the Cubs and Cards is in the, in the spotlight. The Big Badman. Okay. It's going to be huge. Appreciate that, bro. I'll be back. I'm doing a little podcast. I'll be right back. My band, bro. It's I okay. I'm out here trying to mend the grill and everything at the same time. <laughs> Where you barbecue with that, man? Uh, I'm, I'm barbecuing at the crib. I got, uh, I got some slabs of ribs, about four slabs of ribs, uh, pork steak, uh, doggone chicken, hamburgers. Barbecue for the little neighborhood. Okay, I know my listeners, man. They mouth watering now. <laughs> you know what I'm I can't keep. I can't keep. Uh, I can't keep going on and on with it because I'm trying to watch this dog on tennis match going on too. It's pretty good. The U.S. Open on too. Okay, who playing? Uh, right now you got uh, what's the name? Katana and Till Scover. Okay. And, uh, they they getting down right now. It's uh. It's, it's one to none, but uh, this is that rising star. Right now. This is that rising star, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I heard something about her. You know, she's been in the papers. I heard something about her. And see, this is why this is why I call you. This is why I'm gonna start calling you, man, on on, on my Sunday show, cause you know you 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 have an in look, you know, an outlook on things like this, and that, that I don't, you know, cause I'm I'm more into politics. So I'm going I'm to leave the sports right. part of this up to you, man. That's right. That's right. You know, uh, I, wish, I wish I could put you on live so you can see what this green is. <laughs> 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 that's, that's the green problem right now, you know. I, I wasn't really prepared for you today, though, but next week I'm going to give you some good information, though, next week. Like I said, we got to kick off this week. Okay. You know what I'm saying? In the professional world, you got a couple of good games. Alabama always look good. Everybody know they recruit out of kindergarten. Right, so right, know, right. You know, they always going to be in there. But uh, you got uh, you do got some dogs on LSU look good, too. LSU uh, pulled out a head banger out there. Okay. So, you know. See, I see. I know the I know the bookies are salivating about this shit, man. <laughs> hey, but look, uh, I'm I'm gonna get back to the show, and I'm gonna get and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna let you get prepared for next week, man. You know, and uh, I'm gonna give you that call around two to twelve thirty, twelve forty five. I'm gonna be on it, brother. I'm and this, be on it already for you. and this is the call with Brother Porter, the the sports call with Brother Porter. Thank you, brother. Travel light. Yes, that was Brother Porter. He knows any and everything about sports. I got the right man for it. I'm telling you, people, and uh, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be my sports page right there. I can't. I, I'm not like I told you on my last show. I'm not really the sports guy, but uh, you know anything about this government, I'm gonna tell you about it. You know, cause I, I got my eye on them, just like they got their eye on us. I got my eye on them. I'm watching them. You know, but I'm gonna I'm call my brother, brother Porter. The, you know, the sports call with brother Porter. Most, more than likely, I'll do it on my last segment, and uh, get the rest of my commentary and the, and the news out the way, and uh, give you give you uh, the audience something to look look forward to, and uh, some of you some of you big boys out there uh, maybe rolling the gambling dice on some of these uh, uh, sports guys out here. But uh, let me get back to on my on this last segment. Let me. Yeah, see, a lot of people they 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 want to watch Godfather and you know and Scarface and things of that nature, and they're all about to shoot them up, bang bang. But the lessons that I took from it—that's why I'm on a whole different page than most people, because the lessons I took from that movie was, you know. The Don would tell his son, you know, you're going to be a made man, which means basically you're going to be a criminal. But he had more of his family members pushing him into the police force, pushing him into being lawyers, senators. All of these people tied in with the family. You know, a lot of these black gangs have adopted 
uh, the ways of some of these movies, but they didn't adopt all of it. They just took the violent parts, the drug dealing, the scheming, and the scamming parts. But somebody got to be police officers. Somebody got to be senators. I'm giving you the game, people. Somebody got to stand up and say, you know what? I'm going to do my job. I'm going to arrest people I got to arrest, but at the same time, I'm going to watch my people. You know, from these bigots out here. You know, I'm going to be a lawyer, but at the same time, you know, I'm going to make sure my client, especially if he's a minority, gets treated fair. You know, we got to, we got to do these things, people. You know, we got we got we got to do it. We take a lot of things from these moves, but we don't take the main point of them. The main point of it is they infiltrated every institution in our society. Not just the criminal element part of it. They infiltrated every single place in our society. I'm going to let that sit on your soul for a minute or two. You know, think about it. I ain't going to give you that long. Because, because what I said is, is, is clean and cut. It's understood. get back to what I was talking about when I said that you know morals morals play a part in everything we do people and we got to have it you know we, we, we got to have morals and if we don't have morals it's like everything else means nothing your morality keeps you from doing drastically evil things. And we got people surrounding us in the White House that's running our government that, that has a total lack of morality, morals. And morality is needed. And uh, we got to change this. If we don't change it, it's going to get even worse for the next four years to the point where some of us ain't even gonna be able to stand it. You know, these bigots gonna be all in the streets. You know, we got to do something about it. And uh, that's gonna end my day's show. Just think about this, people. Go down there and, 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 and get registered to vote. Get registered to vote. Keep your eyes out for these Friday news dumps, these tragic news dumps. You know, look, start picking up your newspaper. If you pass a store where you go in there, buy your soda, ain't nothing wrong with just, hey, man, give me that newspaper, too. See what's going on around you. Keep your ears to the ground and your eyes open. You know, because it's going down, people. It's going down all around us. And this is The Daily Read with your host, Marcus Gentry. The business, motherfucker. The Daily Read.